subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update hello friends so today we discuss what is the virtualization and how can you enable your hyper-v on your windows server machine okay so let's first look at what is the virtualization so the virtualization is a is this a, a windows server is one of the fundamental technology required to create your software defined infrastructure basically you can define all your hardware in a software representation let's suppose you need to make some uh, make 10 server so you do not need to um, need to purchase the 10 server you can implement all those 10 servers on a single server okay so uh, it, it's like uh, we make the 10 servers virtual machine on a server so it's a it's kind of the software representations of your server uh, on a single hardware along with the networking and storage virtualization features deliver the flexibility you need to power the workload for your customers okay so let, uh, let's start with the hyper v what is the hyper v what is the requirement for hyper v so Hyper-V is a role in your Windows Server and let you create a virtualization computing environment where you can create manager virtual machines and you can run the multiple type of operating systems. So basically Hyper-V is, uh, is a kind of a variant of your uh, hypervisor that are designed and developed by the Microsoft and it's 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 a role in your windows server or in your some client operating systems like windows 10 windows 8 so you can enable this role on on your windows server or windows 8 or 10 and after that you create your virtual machines over that okay there's some technical overview like the hyper vj microsoft hardware virtualization product and it's let you create and then the software version of computers that known as the virtual machines so you can run a complete computer inside a computer like that you can run multiple computers inside a computer and that software computer work completely like a physical computer you can install any operating system over that you can install your any application over that you can make the networking between them so each virtual machine act like a com complete computer running an operating system and programs and when you need computing resource virtual machine give you more flexibility and help the save time and money and more efficient way to use the hardware than just running on the one operating system on the physical hardware okay so there are some features in your hyper like computing environment disaster recovery and backup optimization portability you can remove your virtual machines from one location to another location one host to another host remote connectivity and security provide like the secure booting or shielded virtual machines there are some supported operating systems so let's first discuss about the requirement okay so to enable the hyper-v you need some requirement like some hardware requirement some software requirement so first of all you need a 64 bit of processor you cannot run your hyper-v on a 32 bit processor so you, you need a 64 bit of processor means you need a x64 architecture of your cpu then you need at least 4 gb of ram but more me me memory is better so if you are going to create machines over that so you need more memory basically let's suppose you create the two machines with 4 4 gb ram so you need at least 8 gb ram on your host server more than the 8 gb ram on your host server virtualization also support the bios and ufi both booting systems and you need to enable the intel virtualization on in your bios on your host system and if you are using amd processor then you need to enable the amdv amd virtualizations on your host system so you can enable this through the bios then there are some uh, uh, other requirement like the on which operating system you can uh, uh, enable your hyper-v 
so you can enable your Hyper-V on Windows Server version, any Windows Server, it doesn't matter, 12, 16 or 19, they are using the version 19.9, 19.3 with 64, you can enable, or 18.9, you can enable your Hyper-V there, you can enable on server 2019, Windows Server 18.3, 18.3, Windows Server 16, 12R2, 12, 8R2, okay? and 8 with surface pack 2 there are some other client operating system they also support so windows 10 8.1 and windows 7 service pack 1 so it's integrated with service so but uh, limitation is that uh, those operating system must be 64 bit architecture okay so here i'm going to show you how to um, install the hyper-v and okay so i'm going to my host server here is my host server i'm going to log in here so first of all log into the administrative privilege okay Then you need to open this server manager. So it's by default open when you start your server, otherwise you can go for here and open your server manager. Okay. And click on add role and feature or you can click here, manage, add role and feature. Next. Next. Here is your server detail. Next. And here you need to check this hyper. Okay. Add feature. So verify it's it's like check. It's not like this one. It's like the check. Okay. We are going to install complete features. Next. Next simply. Then you need to set up some hyper V settings like create the virtual switch. So we, we will create those switch later. Okay. So I'm just going to Escape this one next migration. We also do the migration settings later. So I'm going to escape default store. So when you create your virtual machines or your virtual disk, so they will store at the different different location. So your virtual machine configuration will store in this at this location, and your disk is stored at this location. So you can change this location as well. Okay. I'm just leaving default next. And it's required a restart. So I'm just click on this restart the destination. Yes. And install. So it will take few minutes to complete this installation. After that, it will restart. And later that you can able to use your high power. Okay. So it will take few minutes. It. So I'm going to log in here again. So let's try to check it's installed or not. So there, yeah, it's completed. Close, and you can able to open your Hyper-V here. Hyper-V Manager. Okay. So now we create some switch on this Hyper-V. So here in the switch manager you can able to create your switch. So I'm going to first of all create an external switch. So internal switch. So select internal, create a switch. Provide your name like private network. Okay apply okay i'm going to create another switch for internet communication at this time i'm creating the external switch create a switch and here public and select your network adapter on your server search in bridge mode apply so it's interrupt your network connectivity.
Okay. So now you have to switch. So like that, you can install your Hyper-V, create your switch. So in next video, we discuss how to create the virtual machines here. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this video like this video and subscribe my channel for more updates.